going to see how easy and quickly we can post process some parts coming off our ProJet 3000 HD Plus printer. First off, we're going to remove the parts from our build chamber. All we need to do is simply undo our latch here and lift our nice aluminum plate. To start process processing some of the parts from our ProJet 3000 HD Plus printer, all we need is a nice plastic tray with maybe some paper towels in order to catch melted water, some ice cubes, our printing plate with our printed models on there, and some extra paper towels. We'll start. What we're going to do is we're going to take our printing plate here, we're going to take some ice cubes, and we're going to rub those ice cubes in the area where our wax support material is. What this does is this helps to constrict the wax and actually break it loose from the plate with too, without too much work. This is very good practice for nice thin models and fragile parts that you don't really want to touch and grab and, and poke at in order to remove them from the plate. As you're doing this, you'll actually hear a little bit of crackling and popping, and that's the wax separating from the build plate as we're doing this. As our plate gets nice and cold, you can see these models, they just come off real nice and easily. I'll just move them to a separate part and lower them to rest. Not too much work at all. Now that we've got the parts off of our tray there, we're going to go ahead and just dry our tray so that we can either set it to the side or put it back into the machine for future builds. After removing parts off your build tray, you'll a lot of times notice that there's a little bit of a wax coating left that's on the surface. You do want to take a nice razor blade and just kind of scrape that material off so that your next build doesn't encounter any issues with that previous wax support material. Alright, now that we've got our nice little medallions here, we want to go for the next part of the post-processing. We want to place these with the wax material, with the wax support material on them, into an oven at about 144 degrees Fahrenheit. Notice this is just a regular convection oven. I've got a little drip tray down here to catch any of the excess melted wax. You want to make sure and not let any wax material collect in the bottom of your oven as this can affect the temperature on the heating element. inside there and we'll leave them in for about an hour and let some of that wax melt off. Okay, one of the things that's going to help us both process our parts a little bit more quickly is that uh, once we have these parts in the oven for a while and the wax is fairly melted, I'm going to go ahead and just pull them out and floss them fairly quickly with a couple paper towels. I'm going to remove any of the wet excess wax that's on the surface and just make our post-processing layer a little bit easier. We can actually also just fold our parts up in a paper towel and set them back in the oven for an additional 5 or 10 minutes to help that soak up any excess wax that's on the parts. Our parts have been in the heated ultrasonic bath for about 10 minutes now. So what we'll do is we'll take them out carefully and we'll put them on a paper towel, blot away some of the mineral oil, and then we'll take them over to a sink and wash them with a little bit of soapy water. Basket out here. And to knock off any excess wood. Take each part out individually. Make sure and lay them on a flat surface because they can be a little flexible while they're warm.
kind of see how they're coming along now. And we'll take these over to the sink to finish washing them off. Okay, so now I've got my parts here um, at my sink and I've got a little bit of dishwashing detergent. So what I'll do is I'll lay the parts down here in the sink. I'll turn the water on to start letting it flow. And we'll actually mix the dish soap in with our water. And just a little squeeze. Kind of whisk the parts around in the cool water, cool soapy water. Okay, after you've washed your parts off, if you've used paper towel, a lot of times if you've got really small features, you'll get uh, fibers from the paper towel sticking to the parts. So what I always like to do after I've washed and dried them with a with a towel or something else. I like to take a little bit of compressed air and just blow it on it to make sure everything is blown out and nice and clean. And then we have our nice part.